order. Um, under additions to the agenda, we need to add the Burn Proclamation to the consent agenda. Are there any other additions to, oh, I'm sorry, and an executive session under new business for the item of Bush Manager. I have two items. Uh, one is Scout Captain.
prices on this. Got Sutherland Builders out of Wichita um, for a total of ninety-seven twenty. Uh, if they do the roof as well, it's an additional nineteen eighty, which will bring it to a total of. Seven. And that, we didn't really specify doing a garage, so that was just an add-on. So all we were soliciting for was the garage, or the house, so the other was a garage. That 1900 is the house's garage. Yeah, we'll just do that. Okay, should be an highlight here. Um, a company called Roofing Dogs, they are out of Wichita also, 8800 cities to pay the dump fees. And then AR roofing out of Pratt for seventy two sixty one. Recommendation now. Well, the price is different. I think we are pretty much local. And, uh, that's actually cheaper than the other price we had earlier on. So a little bit how much. So I feel confident that they can do the job. We would have to cough up the 2621. Right. Yeah. Well, that's what Right. <coughs> and it's a 30 year roof. Are they going to resheet it if it needs to be sheeted? It will be. These are all there with resheeting. Re yeah. yeah. Adding some roughness. Everybody felt there needs to be some ventilation. So they include the roof.
make a motion to raise it from 3500 to 4000 I'll second that. Is there any further discussion? Questions? All in favor? Opposed? Motion carries. All right, next item is a scout cabin. Uh, in fact, remember Nick Lawford came and spoke to the council. He wouldn't work for the city and then he kind of was taking on himself with all the scouts and everything about getting something going with that. And I had an inquiry the other day about where we were at on that, a bit with Nick. And uh, he's got some figures already. And I, I guess we need to you know, continue on with it. city itself, personally, we do not use it, we do not want to sure it or anything, so the people that are involved with it might be the best ones to, what, what do they want to see happen there as far as the, uh, basically the main thing right now is the outward appearance of it, and, you know, whether we want to go with some metal siding or go back with wood siding, I mean, that's sort of things that we need to decide but before we pursue it, as far as any heat or cooling in there, how far we want to go with that, but, Scouts are using it. We blows up believe are using it right now. Of course, when it's cold, they, they won't. So, yeah, still using it during track season and football also. What input they might have on it. Uh, as far as funding for this, you know, uh, whether anyone will be able to put anything toward it, do you have a call on it? Siding to be removed? No, it needs new. You know, it's, it looks like a log cabin. Yes. And it's been painted before, and everyone says that the wood is too far gone to really make it paintable. So the thought was to put some siding on it. You can go back with wood siding that still looks like a log cabin, or you can get away from that. You can put a metal metal siding on it, very little maintenance. You know, that's, you know, we've got the shelter houses up there with metal rooms on it. So I just somebody needs to kind of decide which direction you want to go, what's the who's gonna help with what, or we're gonna try and all of you to donate, or is the city gonna just take it on and just feed it down. So that's Go make an evaluation of it. 
get back to you next meeting. As a businessman and a council, it's been 25 years since I've given a look, except from 9th Street. I haven't been in it since 1976. I think that would be a good place to start. Yeah. I'd make a motion to table that, put it in the whole business with the cable issues. Okay. Report. Report back to the council. Okay, that's all I Give us an evaluation of what that water's doing. As far as well, like we were going to blend, you know, with some of our higher water with the new, hoping it would be low. Right, but we, we still find salt. I'm just curious. Right. We, we do that depending on which wells we're running. Normally we run that. Our west wells are our highest nitrate well we have. So when we run it, we run one of those other wells. So if I would catch you in an off time, I could stop in, you can tell me or show me what that new yeah, well's we, doing. Yeah, we can we can we can start it up and blend it with another that, that other well or we can turn it by itself. It's still what it was supposed to do. Yeah. If you were running the new well in one of your low nitrate water, the lowest, then you wouldn't have to treat it at all. You'd just blend it. Maybe. Well, it's still gonna it doesn't it's just blended on a percentage. It's not on how much nitrates is in. It's on a percentage of that. You know, so we have to, you know, when we, we get set up and we're running, we know what it's going to do, and, it, and it, we know that at a certain percentage it's going to do what we want it to do. We can change that percentage if we want to, and we've done that in the past. And then, like I say, we, we can switch it you know, and change it if, if it's a lower nitrate, we can bypass more. Takes a little more control, but it's, the plant is not set up to, to blend on nitrates. It's just low. It's just low. So, does the blending occur after the plant or after the uh, removal? It's, it's actually when the water first comes into the plant, uh, it's diverted. Part of it goes in through the, the filters, it's treated, you know, the flower exchange process, and the other. It just splits off and it like comes the raw water comes in and after the, the treated water through the through the plant and then they, they blend together and that gives water after them. So okay. but if you want to give me a question, I'll show you where it is. Okay. Um, the fire department's wanting to uh, on October eleventh from ten to two, which is a Saturday. We want to do something up here on the east side of the square after we've done fire prevention. We do fire prevention the 9th and 10th. But we want to bring the, the trucks up here and have law enforcement, EMS, and we're going to do, we'd like to do hot dogs and chips and drinks and everything and invite all the, you know, anybody and everybody to come out and look at the equipment, look at the trucks, talk to the firefighters, anybody that we didn't ever touch you know, at the school with fire prevention and maybe do a little bit of like Halloween safety and stuff at the same time. Um, but we were wanting to, to block off the east side of the square and use it from 10 to 2 on that Saturday. Make a motion to allow you to block off the street on the east side for one of the non Second. Is there any further discussion? Opposed? Is that in lieu, in lieu of the soup supper? No. No. We're still going to do it in November. We're still do the soup supper, yeah. Motion carries for Anything else? That's it. Okay. Did you say The only thing I have is uh, the body armor that we ordered. Um, the final cost of that did come in quite a bit under, um, I can't remember the um, price I asked for. It was, it was over 800 and it came in at like 658 or something like that. Thank you for your quick responses. 
done. <clears throat> Excuse me. On the office storage, we thought we would have um, information to pass out here. If you recall when we were, actually I think it was in the workshop at the basement when we were talking about different things, I brought up that we needed office storage in here, especially since we moved <clears throat> the council table down here and um, for us to be able to put things away in an appropriate manner and stuff. And um, we've had somebody come look at the um, offices in our space and give us an idea of what they think would be a good thing. I asked them to do the estimates in sections so we don't have to do them all at once if, if it doesn't look like the budget can handle that or whatever. I hope to have that all for you next meeting. They didn't have um, all that in yet. <clears throat> so other than that, it's all in. I don't have anything. Okay, new business. Can you view pictometry? Um, John and I, Mel and I attended a meeting that the county put together. Um, and it's I've slept enough time since then that I don't completely remember all of it. But basically what it is is it's aerial photography. And if we go in with the county, um, they can do it for a cheap price. This will allow us to access the mapping for anything that we need it for from a city standpoint. The cost to the city was going to be It's a, it's not like an updated thing. They will fly over and, and get it at 
So you guys got to do all the footwork before? Well, if we want that on there, exactly. But if we don't, you know, but anything on there is going to be made reference to the GPS type location. Yeah, the picture that's on Google right now is between May 15th and November 15th. Well, the other thing is, is with this system, the county will house it, and we will be able to build layers of maps so that somebody could feasibly get a printout and it would show them exactly where the water lines, the sewer lines, anything was on their property <coughs> in the law firm. I don't know if that's something you guys are interested in or not. I mean, from the standpoint of people pulling building permits for houses that have been taken down or whatever, there's benefit there in that when somebody goes to do that, they can pull a copy of that map and look at it, and it'll take time to build everything. But that's the option of having the county, or the benefit of having the county house something like that. So the other side of it is, is that they're going to charge us for layers, and they couldn't give me any idea as far as what that was going to cost. Well, it's not included in the 700 annual fee. Well, if we it, buy into it, if we buy into it, it we so we can make as many changes basically as we want during the year and add, add things to it. So, you know, if we want to add something, we can. You know, the smart thing to do is, is to kind of accumulate a few things and have to go through the account. And as far as like the Google, you know, Nick Lauffer went to a deal in Lawrence and he learned about that. How, how that all went, and that's a lot less expensive, but, you know, it's, uh, I mean, you know, I know Jeff, he's got a thought on, you know, as far as the expense on that and for the electric and everything. You can do it however much money you want to spend, however detail, and you know, Google is not going to be as, as as close a look as that, but is that mm -hmm. how important is that? I could zoom down and read the numbers on my man lift on May 15th. Yeah, you can. Today before I came here. I asked the one, show me what this does. I saw this on the agenda. You can look at the front door in your house. Yeah. Well, I've seen too much over detail. detail. Yeah. Anyway, so. and, and Carl did say he would love to come to visit with you guys if you're interested and you want to know more about it yes. in more detail. Yeah. You know, you say it, it's a, would they take an annual, a new a new photo annually? Or would it be? So, what it going to be? I don't know how often they're going to do it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Well, they would surely do it more than Google. I mean, Google's picture was, you know, a bare lot. The grass hadn't come up yet over there. My man left this part there, so I know it's between June 15th and May 15th. The thing, that's the only four months. Right. The thing and that's about free. This, right. The thing about this that they're promoting is that it's, you know, whether we need to see all the sides of a house, you know, at all these different angles, it may be important for the county, you know, in their work. It's not as much, you know, as important for ours. But he, Carl's been to all a lot of other cities, and uh, when I talked to him today, he said he, if the council is interested at all, he would, you know, he can clarify some of the questions you may have. Yeah, I would just like to see a sample that's better than okay. Google. Okay. Well, I would be in on what he does. So yeah. you want to schedule for him to come to the next meeting? You can. Do you want to go to the next meeting? Yeah. We can't make the other trip. So we'll table this till the next meeting and get Carl here so he can do some explanation. And I'll we'll talk to him about bringing, they had to, somebody from the company come down and present it to the county and they apparently had the board to look at it and we had an our meeting. Okay. All right, are we done with that item? Well, I got one more question. Do we have a printer in our city that will make a picture like that? <laughs> So, we couldn't print a map. So Mel's going to have to go to the county every time he wants a, a little bit bigger picture than that for a, like a half a city block or something. Well, I think they could print us. I mean, we, we could get, I think they could get us a map so that we wouldn't have to, I mean, he wouldn't have to go get just a half a block. Well, right. But if you want just a half a block, you can pull it off of Google and do the same thing and print it on a regular printer. Regular or a on a color printer. Well, yeah, well, it's not a map printer. But just no, it's just it's just the section you're working on. So you're saying none of our printers in the city? We don't have a map printer that can print that clear of a picture on regular. Well, paper. I'm yeah, sure we yeah, yeah we can print that clear. Right sure. Or is that's that special? That's my special paper, isn't it? Just photo paper, I think. 
You, you wouldn't really need to. The printers nowadays are, yeah. you know, the laser okay. color printers. Well, I just can, didn't want to. I thought jump you meant like a, a large. Twelve thousand dollar printer. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know where the technology was on those. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
could you at least only charge them the minimum trash charge? You know, yeah. you guys get to decide these right. things, That's, but yeah. you, you're the ones There is no the, minimum trash charge, can you know? It is. It's, it's a flat fee for everyone. Yeah. That's right. But I'm saying. It's like a residential. You're talking a residential charge versus a commercial right. charge. Right. Oh. Yeah. How many, I don't, you know how many dollars? Yeah. Yeah. No, I couldn't tell you exactly 17. how many do, does what. Um, well, they build my commercial dumpster 45. separately. It doesn't come on your city bill? You send it straight to Welch? Or you send Yeah. It seems I, to me. I have the stores one does too. Right, I have well, one you're that's in like, the county. The stores are in the county. I don't know that it's accurate, but I've seen it like $47 for my dumpster. That for a two yard, maybe? Or one yard. Is that right? Mm -hmm. And then at my house would be like 17 maybe? I think it's 16 so. 50 or 17 yeah. somewhere along. But that's my, if, if Welch agrees that they're not picking anything up there, that they do have an electric meter and a water meter, and that would be lower it to the 17th. There's two pages for this. Uh, right. 1625 is the residential currently. Unless, I mean, I don't care. I would change it if... If they agree that there's nothing getting picked up there, ever. Why should you? Why should you be paying for it if you're not getting anything picked up? Well, because our ordinance requires it. Right. Yeah. The only case, and I've never argued a bit about it, is my house. I haul it all to my dumpster at the shop. And I do the same. And that's a choice. But, right. I mean. I don't, it's easier for me to do it. Though. Yeah, I don't have trash cans blowing around in my house. Yeah, I don't either. <laughs> so, that would be my only way to, to compromise with the customer if it's all right with Welch. Is to. Okay, I would like to see a full copy of the ordinance in the packet for the next meeting so that everybody has a chance to review it. And it's actually and our code, you know, Our so codes, so. whatever. Um, so that everyone can review it and look at what it says and then that way we can all, or you all, can make a knowledgeable decision. Because there is a lot of buildings in town that might have electric and water, but there's no trash there. I don't have an opinion either way. It, I, I'm, I am thinking about how is that all going to be communicated to the person who's sending out the bills. You know, if they make a deal out here with Terry, how are we going to know what's going on in here? And if we've contracted him as a city and then he's making side deals or whatever, then, you know, kind of what's the point? It's well, just well, I can show you that my dumpster has been on a separate bill all along. And you're in the city limits. Yep. That's yeah. not nicely. Yeah. No. I own my own dumpster. Yeah. So he just bills you for his the pickup? Yeah, he's $47 a month or something. I don't How's he bill you? I think Kevin's bill. doing the same thing. No, mine's city bill. <laughs> Commercial dumpster. Whatever oh, size it may be. Well, I don't think mine is. I have city electricity at the store. You have, have city, city electricity. Bill. Yeah, oh, city water out there. Yeah, but, yeah, but our your trash is on it. Our contract is for the city limits. Right. So you're outside you the city know. limits. Mm -hmm. so, so your trash isn't on the city bill. Mm -hmm. I don't think my, I, I know my name. When I looked at it, I'll pass when I looked at this. <clears throat> Alright, let's go. It's not uh, constant, per right. se, or even. Okay. Is there any further discussion on the topic? That would be the end of the agenda. <laughs> Move that we adjourn. Second. Well, did we, did we skip the electric department? Nope. No. I didn't have anything. Yeah, oh, no. okay. Yes, ma'am. Mayor's burn proclamation. We did that under the consent agenda. Yeah, I should have up to the
and motioned, motioned and seconded <laughs> to adjourn. All in favor? Opposed? Motion carries 4-0.